Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at part B of this question, uh, where again, we're looking at the field extension Q adjoin root 7 over Q. In previous video, we showed that every element in Q adjoin root 7 could be written as A plus B times the square root of 7, where A and B are rational. And in this problem, we want to find a Q basis for Q adjoin root 7, thought of as a, a vector space over Q. Uh, part A really gives us a lot of information, though. We already know that if we take the Q span of the numbers 1 and the square root of 7, well, this is going to be all things of the form A times 1 plus B times the square root of 7, where A and B are rational numbers. And, of course, A times 1 is A, so this is exactly Q adjoining the square root of 7. So already we can see that 1 comma the square root of 7 is a spanning list for Q adjoining the square root of 7. And we would like to show that it actually forms a basis. So it just means we need show to be linear independent. However, it's going to be even easier than that because, well, we know that a basis is going to be no more than two vectors long. And because we have a spanning list that's only two long. And if it was only one long, then that would mean that Q adjoining the square root of 7 was a one-dimensional vector space over Q. But Q is a subspace of it. So a one-dimensional extension would, would actually just mean Q adjoined set root 7 would actually have to equal Q. Right? So that would be if, so this would happen if the dimension... All right, the Q dimension of Q adjoin the square root of 7, or as we have written it in class, right, the degree of this field extension. So if this was equal to 1, then, well, then Q adjoin the square root of 7 would equal Q. But it doesn't. The square root of 7 is not an element of Q. It's not a rational number. So we know that the dimension cannot be 1. So that means it must be 2. And if it's 2, and we already have a spanning list of length 2, that actually must be a basis. So since we now know that Q adjoining the square root of 7 must have dimension 2, right, or degree 2 over Q, that implies that 1 comma the square root of 7 is a Q basis.